Hey guys, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. Uh, just wanted to recap that last lesson for you there. We, we uh, took a kind of a deep dive into dependency injection and inversion of control. Uh, I wanted you guys to see in that lesson uh, how, how important it is to, for you guys to compose your, your classes uh, because the Spring Framework and having dependency injection really changes how, how you do uh, software development. Uh, I was, I've seen more than one case where you're doing a lot of database access right from inside the controller. Um, I, I'm working with a, a legacy code right now where the, there's JSP pages that are calling static methods uh, on classes that uh, call directly into the database. Uh, when you do something like this, uh, you pretty much break any chance of uh, unit testing. It, your code is essentially untestable because it is so, so tightly woven together. Uh, through dependency injection, uh, I hope you could see in that, that little tutorial there how you, you break away the separation of the concerns so your your uh, view pages become just a, a view that render data to the browser or uh, it could be uh, JSON or whatever. So it's just taking a model and rendering that data and there might be some conditional logic in there. That's all you want. Your controller, and I like to describe controllers as just being a, a traffic cop. They have one function in life is to respond to a web request. That's it. That's all they do. They shouldn't be calling the database. They shouldn't be uh, making web service calls. Uh, nothing like that it should be taking place inside of your controller. You should have a service layer to do that. That is very important to do. So um, I'm going to drill this in in, in uh, upcoming tutorials, but I, I wanted you to get, see how having the, the power of dependency injection really causes you to write cleaner code. So your your objects you're composing them so that they actually do have uh, one function in life so uh, that that is very important uh, when you're building code that's clean and maintainable so uh, the next uh, chapter in the tutorial series we're going to get into uh, actually building a spring project using spring boot hope you guys are looking forward to that uh, after that module we'll actually start getting into some uh, spring examples on uh, doing some dependency injection in spring so stay tuned